my bells and welcome back to the channel y'all today i am going to be making a german chocolate cake from scratch so these are my ingredients the ingredients you will need is four ounces of chocolate a half a cup of water that's to melt the chocolate two and a four quarter cups of all-purpose flour or you can use two half two and a half cups of uh cake flour y'all we're gonna just get into this i'm gonna show you guys what i am doing i have my eggs i have my sugar i have my butter i have my chocolate and i have my flour my flour salt and baking soda in this bowl i need to mix it together but it's in that bowl and you want that to be separate let me mix it together like this but in a separate little bowl you need that so let's get this started you guys i, I try to get everything kind of in order so that I don't have to get it out the bag and do all of that, like the sugar, or the you know, so I'm trying to have it all ready. I'm trying to become prepared. So I'm gonna chop this chocolate up real quick, really, so that um I could boil it because you need to the chocolate, you need to chop it up first so that you can um so it can be cooled off, cooled off by the time you um get ready to cook it so, so you have to see my chocolate you see it right there so you just want to kind of roughly chop it and I'm using four and this is four ounces of baking chocolate mm. you gotta put your muscles into it y'all put your muscles into it So you kind of want to just chop it up roughly. Y'all, I love German chocolate cake. It's my favorite cake of all times. I like red velvet too. I was going to make a red velvet, but I decided to make this. You guys, I'm going to chop this chocolate up and then I'll come back and show you guys how I'm going to put it in the pot. Okay, you guys, I have finished chopping up my chocolate and this is my pot with a half a cup of water. You're gonna just put that in there. You're gonna put this on the stove and let it um, cook. You just wanna melt the chocolate. You don't want to burn it, you just melt it. As soon as it starts melting, you can actually turn the pot off. So that's how it looks in there. You don't wanna burn your chocolate. So I'm gonna put this on the stove and I will come back and show you guys how it looked. Okay, you guys, so that chocolate wasn't on there for no more than five minutes, probably less than that. So I'm going to just let it sit. I just want it, you just want it to melt. So now I'm going to let it sit and cool off. It will thicken back up, but this is going in your cake. This is the chocolate for your German chocolate cake. Okay, guys, I am back and I have two sticks of butter, one cup of butter, which is two sticks in this bowl. And I'm going to add two cups of sugar, two cups, and I'm going to blend it until it's light and fluffy. And um, I'll be back. Okay, you guys, so I have four eggs and I separated. I'm just using the yolks right now for this. And I'm going to um, add in one egg yolk at a time until it's all incorporated. Now, that's one. Y'all saw that drop in there. So one yolk at a time. And I'm going to blend it. Okay, you guys, I have that all blended up. Now I am going to add in my melted chocolate and a teaspoon of uh, vanilla. And so I'm going to add my teaspoon of vanilla and my melted chocolate. Uno teaspoon. I don't have, um, I can't find my teaspoon measure, so I'm gonna use a half a teaspoon. That's a teaspoon. Teaspoon of vanilla. 
and I'm going to mix that together. Well, actually, I need to put the melted chocolate in there as well. You really want your melted chocolate to cool because you don't want to have um, scrambled eggs, scrambled egg yolks, rather. So you want it to be cool when you put it in there. Nice and cool. It don't have to be cold, but you don't want it hot. That's why you want to cook it first before you even start mixing everything else up. I know y'all hear the yelling in the background. The little boy act like he don't know that I'm in here recording. Okay, so I'm going to blend this up and I'll come back with the next step, you guys. Okay, y'all, that's my mixture blended up with the um, eggs, chocolate, vanilla, sugar, and butter. And I forgot to tell you guys that I preheated my oven to 350. That's a very important step. You need to preheat your oven to 350. Now, my next step is going to be I'm going to add my flour, but in I'm going to add half the flour now and half the buttermilk. It's a cup of buttermilk, and um, I told you guys two and one quarter cups of um, two and a quarter cups of all-purpose flour. And if you have cake flour, you can use two and a half cups of cake flour. And then I have a table, a teaspoon of uh, baking soda, baking soda, not powder. I have a teaspoon of baking soda, and I have a teaspoon of salt in my flour mixture. So I'm going to add half of it in here, just half, and then I'm going to add half of the buttermilk. But I'm going to mix it up a little bit just so it don't splatter all over the place. So that's half of it. I'm going to just mix it with my spatula so it doesn't go everywhere. Excuse the noise in the background, y'all. I think he knows that I'm recording, but he just feel like for some reason he feel like talking. Okay, so I think that's probably blended enough. Not blended, but mixed enough to where it's not going to splash all over the place. So that's half of it. And then we'll put the other half once I blend this up. I'm going to put half the buttermilk as well. You guys, I also forgot to tell you guys that um, I have already greased my um, pans. So you'll need three eight inch um, cake pans or you can use two nine inch cake pans. Pans, not pins, pans. Okay, I'm going to blend this up. I put the milk in there, half of it, and half the flour. Okay, you guys, so I'm going to add the other half of the flour. All of it. And the other half of the buttermilk. Key to it is the buttermilk, y'all. Don't try to use no regular milk because it probably ain't going to taste right. Buttermilk is the southern way to go. And I ain't from the south. But the buttermilk gives it some type of, I don't know. You guys, and I'm blending everything on low. I'm not doing it too high. But you want to just mix it until it's like um, complete. You don't want to blend, over blend and mix it because you want your cakes to be nice and fluffy. And now I am going to wash these um, beaters off. So that I can, because I'm not one of them chefs who got all these different beaters in the kitchen to where I can just change them. I have to wash those off so that I can um, beat up my egg whites and fold them into this cake mix. That's going to make it nice and fluffy. So I will be back as soon as I wash these uh, tongues off. I mean, whatever the thing is called, the beaters. Okay, you guys, here are my egg yolks, and I'm going to beat them on high speed until I get stiff peaks. So, um, until you can lift, when you lift this mixer up, and they stand up on the thing. And then I'm going to fold them into my cake. But, here we go. That's what you want, guys. You want them to stand up. You don't want to over mix, um, over blend your egg yolks because you can make them back runny and watery. So you just want them to you get stiff, stiff peaks, 
Now I'm going to add this into my eggs and I'm going to fold it in. I mean into my cake batter. I'm going to fold it in. So when people say fold, that's what they mean by fold. You want to fold. You don't want to stir. You can turn your bowl, but you want to fold it in. Fold it in. This makes for a nice fluffy cake. Fold it in. You guys, I will be back when I put these in the pan. Pans. <laughs> you guys, here's my cakes. I have two of them, so I'm just moving around a little bit just to smooth them out. But that's it in the pans. And I will put these in the oven for 35 to 40 minutes. And I will come back. when I, I'm going to clean this up so that we can make the um, icing. I'll be right back. Okay, you guys, in this pot, I have one, and this recipe for the um, icing calls for only eight, a cup of um, evaporated milk, but I'm going to use the whole can because I'm going to, like, not double it, but I'm going to, because it, it never seems to be enough icing to me, but you're only supposed to use eight ounces, but I'm going to use the whole 12 ounce can, and it calls for one stick of butter, but I'm going to use a stick and a half because I'm halfening. I'm making like one and a half, um... One and a half batches of the icing. So one one and one serve, one and a half servings. So I have um four egg yolks. It calls for three egg yolks, but because I'm doing half, I'm gonna do two egg yolks for the second batch. So that's the uh second one. So it's three egg yolks, one cup of evaporated milk, one stick of butter, and for your icing. And a uh, teaspoon of vanilla. So I'm going to put a teaspoon, one and a half teaspoons of vanilla. Because like I said, I'm making half. One and a half. So I'm going to put one and a half sticks of butter. Let me get my half stick of butter. And then we're going to cook this on the stove. You want to continue to stir because you don't want your eggs to scramble. You don't want scrambled eggs. Um, let me get my whisk. My whisky whisk. And let me cut this butter down the middle. And I want a half of it. So that's how we're going to do that. I'm going to whisk this together just a little bit. Then I'm going to put it on stove and I'm going to cook it. I'm not going to cook it that long because, like I said, you don't want your eggs to scramble. You just kind of want to get it hot. Kind of thickish, hottish, thickish, thick like me. No, I'm just kidding, y'all. You kind of want to get it thick. <laughs> so I will come back once this is all cooked up and I'll show you the final outcome of how it looks. Once you guys, so my cakes are um, done. I'm just letting them cool in the pot. Then I'm going to take them out. I mean, in the pan. Then I'm going to take them out and set them on a wire rack so that they can cool a little more. And then uh, I'm going to ice them once my cakes are completely cooled. And I will come back with you guys with the um, icing. I am cooking the, um, the glaze or whatever you want to call it, the icing. I'm cooking it right now. So I'm going to um, finish that and then I'll come back. I just want to show you guys that the cakes are done. Okay, you guys, this is my milk, eggs, sugar, and vanilla. You kind of want it to coat the spatula, kind of like that. You want to cook it for like 12 minutes, 12 minutes until it gets thick. I mean, this is not super duper thick, but it's thick enough, and it's, when it cools, it's going to get a little thicker. So I'm going to add my pecans and my um, coconuts, my coconut. So I it calls the recipe calls for one cup of pecan, chopped pecans. I'm putting a cup and a half because remember I made I'm making one and a half batches. Remember, so that's the uh, the pecans, and I'm gonna add the coconuts, which you need a cup and one third cups of uh, coconuts flakes, flakes of coconut, whatever however you want to say it. I had it in the freezer, so I kind of gotta play with it a little bit. That sounds so gross. So you want one and a third cups. 
One and one third cups. I'm saying one and a third cups. I'm probably just gonna eyeball it and put it in there how I want it to be. I don't really like coconut, but I like coconut. I like German chocolate cake, but I don't really care for coconuts too much. So, you guys, this icing is made from scratch. So, I already know that I need more coconuts. That wasn't even one and third cups. But remember, I'm making um, a batch and a half of the icing. So, we're going to add some more coconut. And you're going to let this cool off before you ice your cake with it. Y'all see how good that looks? It looks so scrumptious. I love German chocolate cake, you guys. I, I think I already said that. That German chocolate is like one of my favorite cakes on top of, uh, with, um, along with, um, what's that other one I said? Red velvet. I love red velvet as well. I was gonna make a red velvet cake, but I thought that I wanted German chocolate instead. What girl doesn't love chocolate? There's a lot of gals out there who don't like chocolate. Whose channel I watch and they say they don't like chocolate? Um, Limitless by B. Lenore, she doesn't like chocolate. I don't see how you cannot like chocolate. I love chocolate. I don't, I wouldn't say I love it, but I like it. And my coconuts are sweet. I don't think you have to have sweet coconut you can just use whatever type of coconut you want. Just so you want co coconut flakes. That's what you want. You want. So this is gonna be my icing. I'm gonna let this cool off. I'm gonna let my cakes come. Com Y'all can't talk tonight. Tonight. I'm gonna let my cakes come. I'm gonna let my cakes continue to cool off. I'm, I'm a little discombobulated today for some reason. I don't know why. I ain't even had a drink. I need one. Maybe that's why I need, maybe that's why I ain't, um, that's why I'm talking like this, because I need a drink. Let me stop saying that for y'all think I'm an alcoholic like this woman, an alcoholic like that. That's all she got in order for her to be able to do something. She got a drink. I don't, y'all. But this is my icing. It was three simple ingredients. Not three. You need sugar, butter, uh, evaporated milk, vanilla, coconut flakes, and pecans. So that's five ingredients for your icing. Don't go buy that stuff at the store in that little case. I'm talking about I made a um, German chocolate cake. No, you didn't. You lying. Okay, you guys. So I will come back when... Okay, guys. You guys, like I said, I'm going to let this cool off and then my cakes cool off. And I will ice it and you guys will see the finished product. Talk to you guys later. Okay, you guys, this is the end result of my German chocolate cake. So, you guys, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share this video with every and anybody that you know. And don't forget to hit that little bell so that you will be notified of each and every time that I post a video. I love you guys. Bye. Oh, you guys, don't forget to wash your hands.